You can hear me? Uh, microphone check. I can hear you. Now you must, you, you should hear me. Yep, okay, I can hear you great now. Awesome, yeah. Skype went for the wrong microphone. <laughs> Thanks again for doing this. Yeah, you're welcome. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing well. It's uh, noon where I am at. So. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm really glad I can help out people so far. Yep, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm still not quite sure actually what matchup I'd like to look at. Okay. Um, TVZ is the one that I feel like I understand the best but have the most mechanical difficulty just executing. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas TVP and TVT I feel a little bit more conceptually lost in. Okay. Uh, but since I feel like at least the replays I showed you mm -hmm. that I sent you that yeah. uh, the TVC will get the most bang for my buck as far as the quality of lesson. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I'll focus on that for now. Okay, good. Okay, then let's go into TVC first here. You got two TVCs? Uh, ah, yes. For me, awesome. Okay. Good, let me just see if everything is running smoothly here. Yeah, looks good. Awesome. Yeah, I, <clears throat> as as I said, it's it's really good to hear that that um, my students appreciate my help. I was currently a lot. I, I was advertising too hard, I guess. <laughs> and then suddenly all those guys were like, "Oh, stop it! You're annoying. We hate you." Blah, blah, blah. And it's 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 demotivating for some part, but. Yeah, you know, I just I have one week left before university starts. I see, I see. And then mm -hmm, it's getting really difficult. So I want <laughs> no, to spend I, it, yeah. I want to spend as much time as possible here helping out as I'm not that good in StarCraft 2 playing wise, mm -hmm. but I, I know I know a lot. So and helping others mm -hmm. is just awesome. So let's see here. Let's see. You go for uh, you know, this Rex is the guess. standard yeah. 211 Double awesome. Medivac stim. Awesome. Okay. Uh, it is a bit older, so it's not the uh, Beyond Hellbat ed uh, edition, right? No, okay. no. Okay. Um, I've been experimenting with it, but right now I'm sort of just, I don't know what to do after I swap my uh, reactor factory. Sometimes I go into uh, tanks or mm -hmm. widow mines, depending on what my Reaper sees, okay. It, okay. if it lives long enough. Well, that's that's good. It's both viable. So that's nice. You go for an SCV scout. I know both the OSIS, that's, that's fine, I guess. Right, I just want to see uh, if he's expanding to gold or not. Yeah. Uh, I've actually gotten this map. Uh, is one of my vetoes now. Yeah, but... <laughs> mine too. <laughs> I can totally understand why. Okay, so far your build order looks quite crisp. Barracks on roughly 155. Reactor comes down, supply depot on the way. I'm just Everything so far is looking really nice. Also, the save on the on the SCV is awesome. And as you can see, he's he's banking up a lot of stuff here. He's not injecting mm. his hatchery. He's so so focused on on his circlings that you already dealt quite some damage. His queen has now 18 energy, which is like almost a full inject. So so he's missing one inject almost already. I see. Just because, and, and you kill, and you kill for uh, circlings. Awesome, best start ever. <laughs> so this this is really good. Uh, general advice: we okay. can start right now. The first thing I see is base layout. Right. I okay. know. I know. It, I tell this all all my Terran students, but it is somewhat important. And I would I would try for you to focus. On base layout, uh, it, if if it's if if your base is structured mm -hmm. uh, like uh, on a pattern, for example, it makes it not only better to manage your base easier, it also helps in defending. So, for example, um, I would start either above the command center or next to your first barracks on the ramp. So, for example, on the same line as your barracks is. If you okay. 
next to the reactor, there should be, if you play tanks, one supply depot space mm -hmm. until the Rex comes. And if you play Widow Mines, then only one space left, like a sensor turret could uh, build, be built in there. So you need one supply depot space in between for tanks because they are that big and, and Thor's right. and Widow Mines are small enough. So it, it helps a lot if you defend. Widow Mines great, get, get great surface area with awesome splash. Liberator against Protoss, for example. Adapts okay. with the shade need to funnel through, which gives you a lot of time. And right. you can... You can so Basically, I want to have it as sort of a grid layout. Yeah, that's that's what I think. So next to okay. the next to the barracks, mm -hmm. um, I would say two tiles like the supply depot, and then there is the next racks, and then you go up five production facilities, up in a row. Okay. Then okay. again, a small tile space, maybe a supply depot or or like a center turret space, uh -huh. and then you start the next ones. So you have okay. a pathway for your units to tunnel through, uh, funnel through, uh, so that everything uh, gets out, uh -huh. like a really smoothly. Especially, just imagine a huge circling flood comes in right now, right. and they could okay. they could get straight to your mineral line. If you have five buildings in a row, then mm -hmm. they need to move all, all the, the way, way around, around and you can building. you can have your your rally point behind those buildings, and all the marines that come out can shoot. Against Mutalisk, I see it can be a bit problematic, uh -huh. um, because there you want to have as much area as, uh, to be as fast as possible. Um, okay. But against circlings, banelings, adapts, salads, as a turn you have most of the time the units with, uh, with, with the most range, mm -hmm. and you can capitalize on it if you have a good base layout. Just in case of a base trade or a run by, that definitely helps out a lot. I see. Okay, so let's see, do you fire up Stim immediately? You should? Yes, awesome. Mm, command center. It's it's still fine. Okay, there's the Overlord. Where's your Reaper outside of the... Interestingly, his speed is super late. Normally at 320, 330 his speed should be finished. If it's a uh, hedge gas pool. Okay. So, if if you scout with your Reaper, on Apotheosis it's a bit difficult, but on a normal map, let's say Frozen Temple or right. Galactic Process, if your Reaper enters his natural mm -hmm. and you don't see creep finished, mm -hmm. like almost finished, the creep of the hatchery should like almost completely surround the hatch so that it's like it can't spread any further because right. it's done. If you don't see that... Then uh, that should be my priority target as the Reaper? No, no. Then that means it was pool before hatch. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, which means speed should hit like 30 seconds earlier. Okay. That's if I don't see... That's if I do see the uh, the creep? Yeah, so if the, if the if the creep is for example look look at the at the at this hatchery here. Right. And if yes. the if the creep is not completely done where the queen is spreading the creep tumor. Mm -hmm. Almost there. Um depending on the map a little bit, then it was most likely it, it has to be pool before hatch. Okay. That makes and then sense. he's opening safer, mm -hmm. which means speed is it doesn't have to be earlier, but it definitely can be earlier done. And if you then lose the Reaper to to speed links, then that's ah, that's that's not nice normally. I see. And if you don't see any hatchery but a queen out already, which should be the mm -hmm. case on the on the main base, then be very careful. Can either be a proxy hatch or one base bane bust. Okay. And then I would I would uh, lift the I, I would really lift the orbital command. I know many people say no, don't do that. You don't have to. But defending on two locations is so difficult. Right. And you can use the command center to block for the banelings, so you can wall off better. Right. So that helps out a lot as well. If you have any questions while we are talking, just no, spit them out. Yep. So did you click on the on the Roach Warren? Yes. Awesome. Okay, good. So 
Because that's also gold base, Roach Warren, Roach Bane, Circling Flood. Mm -hmm. Very, very common. And yeah, that's exactly what happens here. Or maybe Nidus, but most of. The, nah, Nidus. I don't know. Yeah, two gas. Who knows? Who knows? Could be. Could be the case here. With the, with the layer coming up. So, at my current skill level, a lot of the times the games that I'm losing, I just end up having a macro slip. Like yes. in the mid game where I just find myself doing good damage in like a battle, but then all of a sudden floating two three K or something like that. Mm, just... I see, yeah. So those games I sort of just write off as okay, I that, that game was lost no matter what as soon as I made that mistake mm -hmm. to basically anything. Uh the problem I'm having is games where I feel like I macroed uh adequately for at least my league. Mm-hmm. And then having trouble, uh, I guess, closing off. So, um, I know that mechanically, <laughs> okay, uh, uh, the macro-wise, I am not very solid. Okay. So, so let's see how we can improve that. Yeah, I see you are not producing SCVs for the time now because you're busy with your Reaper. Right. <laughs> so what? Yeah, and and the factory is. is that bit late it's still okay it's still okay it's not the biggest deal so what you what you can do uh, or which, what you can try if you have problems to macro while microing there are uh, small windows in between your micro you need to use to macro right. not 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 necessarily to get new buildings done but at least to constant produce out of your barracks and your command centers and right. factory in Stanford later on. So um, let's let's see here. So you see, you see your okay. There's your SAV being attacked, and you send the Reaper out. Where are you looking currently? You're currently uh -huh. looking at your Reaper. Okay, let let's see what happens. You send out the Reaper. Macro, macro, macro. Still macroing. Okay, okay. Now you look to your Reaper, Reaper. Reaper, and and every time you click the Reaper to to get back, basically, mm -hmm. I know those windows are super small and you might not get to use them, but those are the small windows you could try to use to macro behind. For example, send him back, click on your command center like the hotkey, right. double SAV back to your Reaper. This can happen right. in. 0 0.5 seconds if you're really fast, that's like pro level right. fast. But even if you use one second for it, it's still better because the Reaper needs that time. And in this time, you won't do much. The Reaper mm -hmm. attacks every 0 0.79 seconds, mm -hmm. real time seconds. So if you use, if you need one second to, to get the SAVs, you may lose 0 0.21 seconds, but it's still worth it because of the SAVs and the macro behind it. Okay. It doesn't. It, it's most of the time this one shot you get extra off isn't worth losing the SAV and the marine production. Right. Okay. So that's that's the thing. Where you could, and, and you see, you're focused on the grenade and reaper and reaper and bam, bam, bam. It's awesome, but back at home the factory is not there. It it should be thrown down right at 100 gas. And now your right. SAV is just now moving there. The damage you dealt is awesome, and he made also huge mistakes with the with the inject, as I said earlier on. Mm -hmm. But you could have been in a way better spot, as you already are. Right. So let's see. I, I also think your your drop comes late. So yes. Yeah. Now you could throw down the starport, and it's it's like 10 seconds, 15 seconds. 20 seconds, yeah, and that's why your drop is 20 seconds late, especially on a map like this. Which is big enough. Yeah, it's it's yep. even worse, so... I don't think it's the biggest deal here, because he's going... I don't know for what exactly he went, but he went for early roaches, uh, two base, so... Mm -hmm. Normally against this kind of setup, I won't recommend moving out. Oh, really? Okay, so just the, th the threat of my uh, drop itself is enough to... I guess do the larva damage mm. that I need. The thing is, if you if you go out like no, okay, if if you if you get out and let's say you hit the timing on 4:30 or 4:40 with mm -hmm. your double medivac being done right. and boosting across the map, so this is always 40 seconds late. But even even if you do hit, first of all he sees it. 
right, with the overlord. With the overlord. So he knows so it's he... coming. He will always spot it. He knows it's coming mm -hmm. for some reason. And the best, which, I mean, against Roach Ravager, his macro wasn't really the best, to be honest. You have great army supply. Medivacs are awesome. He is on all, only three queens. So in this case, moving across the map isn't that bad. But what for me always happens, also against Protoss, if I move out, um, when they don't take a third base, is either mm -hmm. I, I slip my mm, micro and lose the 60 marines. They can deal lots of damage, yes. Uh -huh. But you need really good control in order to win the game with that. Normally uh -huh. what happens is a weird base trade scenario occurs. Right. And so early on your production isn't really that strong. Normally your wall isn't really done as well. You right. will have to pull SCVs. And unless you deal great damage, and then you are forced to, to fight on two sections at once while muckering up behind as well so so okay it's 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 getting way diffi more difficult for you you have to micro your marines data step boosting medivax behind focusing queens right. and right. at the same time behind back at home you have to focus fire ravager dodge the biles and macro up right that's that's okay. like three tasks at once and if you just Scout with the Reaper, which you, I think didn't lose so far. No, now it's dead. But if you keep it alive and you can scout, okay, there's a Lair coming. When is he taking the third base? What's his mm -hmm. army? If he's on two bases he, for, for Zerg and Protoss, that means he's getting an army. So your drop normally won't do too much damage. Mm -hmm. And better, I, I think it's better to spot when he's taking the base and where is his army. As, as a Zerg player, you'll see his overload spread is awesome. He can right. see everything, but you right. don't know where is his army, how big is his army, is he going for mm -hmm. tech or a base or whatever. So if you move out with the drop, you you risk something. And against I three base, I think it's good because uh, he got an earlier nexus or hatchery, so you have to go out to punish it. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, it's it's more risky to move out. Sure, you can deal awesome damage, you can even win the game, but I would... I would say go up to four medivacs with the, with uh, 32 SCV uh, marines and push uh -huh. then. It's even bigger. And if he takes a third base, at some point you will still hit a, a very strong timing with stim, even combat shields and plus one. Mm -hmm. Or or maybe you go for the tanks after it as as you do now, which is also good. So instead of the instead of the four medivacs with the lots of marines, mm -hmm. you go for tanks and the marines as well. And you can pressure like crazy. Okay. Uh, do you get a Viking in TVC? I generally don't. Okay. You don't have to. But just to see. The overall. One, hunting. two, yeah. three, four, five, six. Six overlords. Right. That's not only 600 minerals, that's also uh, 50, and... 54 uh, uh, supply, okay. vision of course, and the larva he needs to remake. So right. okay. just imagine that this viking would have paid for himself. Right. It's okay. risky against two base, I see it's risky because it could be mutalisk and then the viking will do nothing. Uh, mm. So in this case, not a big deal to, to skip it. Normally, I don't go for it nowadays as well, because pros don't do it, and I can somewhat manage to get around, but still, it can be really, really nice to have this Viking. At least, it's super annoying for the Zerg, mm -hmm. and maybe, if you do this push-out, for example, you don't really need three, four medivacs. Uh, three medivac healing is also good, you have three medivacs for two tanks, which is enough to juggle around, mm -hmm. so you could spare this one medivac and get instead a Viking. I see. You just need to 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 question yourself: Is it worth it for you personally to do this? And what I do is just send an attack move on the minimap left, right, left, right in the zigzag pattern, mm -hmm. and then it right. will will raid uh, the whole map. So this position is really prime for you. It's a bit sad that yeah, there's the spore crawler. Awesome. Did you get uh, how how good was your macro? Let's see. Seven minutes. On seven minutes, awesome. One hundred supply. This is already really good macro, I have to say. 
<laughs> no, no, really. So you could be on on 110 supply. Uh huh. Uh, but 100 is already really, really good. Okay. Now uh, your one, your armory is on the way. Awesome. Um, yeah, mules. Okay, let's let's see. How how often do you mule? Because there is one orbital command with a lot of energy on it. Right. I generally mule as far as I can see it, which generally means I'm dropping three, three or sometimes more mules at a time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Here, I if I recall correctly, I'm deliberately saving because I want to push back the creep. Okay. Um, okay, I see. Um, but. It's, uh, I've, yeah, <laughs> I, I do not use mules as uh, off cooldown as I should be. Okay. Uh, the thing is, normally, if you hit all the timings of your build order, mm -hmm. you will have the mu uh, the scan available, even if you don't I save see. it, if you I hit see. the timing, if you, are on, if you are on his side of the map, which is really interesting. So you can mule down as long as you can, and if you are there, basically five to ten seconds after you, depending on the map, of course, after you la uh, unload your first two medivex for the 60 marine drop, you will have a scan available. And with the next, as then you have three uh, command center, and then you normally don't mule that much anyhow. So okay. if you are on three command center, normally it would be nice to uh, use one mule and the rest for scans. Mm -hmm. um, but what most likely will happen then, if you're a three base economy, fully saturated, 66 SVs, you won't mule at all and bank up a lot of energy. That's th at least that's what's happening for me a lot of the time. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Okay, let's see. I I was I was asking um, with the mules because where do you put your engineering base, control group wise? Uh, I don't have them control grouped. I use the audio queue to uh, get to them. Okay, let's fix that first. So um, just throw them on the uh, command center yes, control group? Yes, okay. please. It will okay. at least try it. If it doesn't work for you, sure, fine. Mm -hmm. But you should okay. try it. What it right. does okay. is every 12 seconds you produce an SAV, which you normally should, you will all automatically just have a short look down right. to, the, to the window where you see the command center, the eBay, and the armory. You can also have the, uh, the, the Ghost Academy later on, a Diffusion Core in, it, it's, okay. it doesn't matter. And then you will see, is there this small white dot, so it's still producing, yes or right. no. Okay. And it helps a lot, so every t also every time you, you uh, look down there, you will see if your command center has energy left. Right. And okay. then you can mule down. Right. So that's, that's the small trick here. You also did skip combat shield quite a while, you're still not producing yes. combat shields. This happens a lot up until tier one master league. It still happens a lot. I see. So don't feel bad about that. What you what you could try to do, it, I, I assume it doesn't happen if you go for two tech labs, because uh, then you get stim and combat shields roughly at the same time. <laughs> but if I you see. go only for one tech lab, what you could do as a reminder, just to get used to it, put it also in maybe in the control group of your barracks or okay. maybe to the command center. And as soon as you as you get uh, combat shields and later on concussive shells, throw it out again. Okay. It won't do much. It may be a little bit annoying because you have to tap through. But if you if you put it to the command center as well, I think it shouldn't be that bad. It shouldn't do anything bad for you. Okay. And you will see. Oh, it's finished. Bam. Okay, combat shields. And a good thing is, which is even better, you don't need to jump back to your base. You can just tap tap through. Okay. Okay, uh, just taking some notes here for you. Okay, so let's see. Uh, you had quite a nice one one timing. Armory is on the way as well. Interestingly, he's rushing for, for hive tech. Yes. And <laughs> he's normally he should be super dead if he does something like that. The problem is how to identify it. But you're taking a really good fight here. 
And now basically you, you would need to turn... Yeah, again, exactly, go in. A little bit overstimmed the Marines here. Which is, which is hurting your push. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are more units coming. Nice. But you, as, as you know, you are you're not producing a lot of stuff. Right. I yep. see there are circlings in your base as well, with a drop overlord. Okay. Um, drop overlord is very very evil. I see that. What you normally want to have is uh, supply depot or turrets at the edges right. of your okay. main base. Um, no, because he he will drop the circlings and they will automatically attack the depot and this gives you a warning. Right. Even if you don't see it on the minimap, you will still get the warning. And then maybe those five seconds or four seconds it takes the circlings to run to your mineral line. Mm -hmm. Which is enough to pull the SCVs. Also, I wouldn't I wouldn't really point uh towards here. Okay. I would on really map? Don't you see the pings? No, I saw it before earlier. But uh, now not. Are you Maybe on when your... it's paused or something? No, no, it should work. Are you on your vision only, or uh, try try it again? Okay, I see it now. Yes. <laughs> no, I I would say you should um have only one depot lowered, and really point here. Okay. So you have this. It happens a lot that Zergs do some kind of counter attack. Uh, mm -hmm. Circling drops are quite uncommon, I would say. At least not as common as circling run bys. Right. And if you but have there all is your some sort of counter attack normally. Yeah, definitely, okay. always. So at your third base, bunker and a turret, maybe a widow mine in front as well should be enough. Okay. To see er, to to defend here and mm -hmm. then the only spot left unless he drops, but there you will have the supply depot then is through the supply depot wall which normally is always lowered. Like okay. one of those is always lower because you are <laughs> rallying across. You want to saturate your third base. It's it's normal. Right. So, okay. but if you have a rally point there, unless he's going for a huge baneling attack, those marines and marauder will do a great job in defending the wall as well. You can okay. have one or two uh, widow mines as well in front, so the banelings won't mm -hmm. be too bad, and then you're mm -hmm. basically super safe. On the fourth base, yes. you get for you go for the uh, planetary, so. Whatever. And then you don't have to worry too much about counter attacks. Like this I one see. dealt 5 SCV damage, uh, pulled a lot of uh, tension. This is definitely yeah, not that nice. I see. Oh, and yeah. in retrospect, here is where I would consider I lost this game because just looking at the uh, floating resources is enough. I'm on 3 base and I have what for production buildings so yeah that's that's the problem um so when you when you went for the no oh, i need to go back a little bit more when you went for the additional barracks normally you go command center which mm -hmm. you did like where is it should come down soon mm -hmm. oh yeah okay one one i see at at 6:30, it's it's still okay. It's it's a bit late, I would say, but it's still okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's fine. But after that, immediately throw down three barracks. I see. Then you're up to five, and if the third base is halfway saturated, I would go up to eight. And either so this this is the yes um, production facilities were missing quite a lot. So. Mm, so up to five racks, one fax, mm -hmm. one SP. Uh, if your third is halfway saturated, up to either eight racks, two fax, one SP. Um, you can also go for eight racks, stay on one factory and two starports. Mm -hmm. Or you go five racks, three factory and two to three starports. Okay. So you can play uh, bio with a little bit of mine and and medivacs and liberator depending on what he does it's it's of course right. against against roach ravager you want to have two factories for and, right. and also the the balance between uh, marauder and marine basically no it should be the same like three reactor uh, no yeah three reactor rest tech lab 
five tackler. Should be fine. Then you have five marauders, six marines, that's really good. And against Ling Bane, you could go to four reactor, and four tech labs would also be okay. It, it depends. Okay. What I like playing against Zerg, which I do way, way too rarely, but it's really strong if they go for Ling Bane Mutalisk, is mm -hmm. just go up to three racks, uh, three factories, uh, two reactor, one tech lab, and just pump out a lot of Widow Mines. Like okay. a crazy one. Still go for bio support. So the bio is more like of a buffer than in this situation. So that he can't trigger the mines with um, overseer or some circlings uh -huh. and he needs uh -huh. to commit. And if he has to commit, then he needs to split against the widow mine. And just imagine there are 10 widow mines later on, 20 widow mines. They also right. are good against ultralist. So you can, um, you don't really need ghosts. I see. You can go into Liberator, Liberator must Widow Mine. Widow Mines are good against Corrupt as well. He can't right, engage okay. in Liberator, especially with Liberator range and speed right. Widow Mines. Like, that's the nightmare for Zerg. I see. What's he gonna do? Infestor against Bio? Not that good. Uh, Roach Ravager? Yes, then you have tanks, of course, so, mm. But if he opens up with Ling Bane Neutralisk or Ling Bane Corruptor into Ultralisk and you have three factory production, just make mm. sure you don't lose your mines. Um, if if the if the battle is over, you you let two or three stay there. The rest pull back. They are I cheap, see. but not that cheap that you can just throw them away. Okay, and these are sort of um, three based concepts that I, I I'm looking for my, if, to set up my mid game, right? Yes. Okay. Um, if you if you so if you if you have the money, you can throw it on a, a, thir a fourth base later on. It roughly. Nine to ten minutes, uh -huh. I would say. Okay. Uh, normally, what happens, I guess, depending on how the game goes and how aggressive you you macro and push and need to trade, mm -hmm. uh, you can also lift your orbital command. Mm -hmm. Normally, you should have the money for a fourth base. Okay. At some point. I think the second tank is hurting you that it wasn't in time at the front, and you right. you, you you did let it back at home. The fun part is. This tank back at home, if you look at it, you're moving out very soon. So, now it's alone. What what do you think? Will this tank achieve for you? It was just left behind. That's Ex all. Exactly. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, two, two okay. circlings would kill this, basically. Right. Okay, good good clear of, of the counterattack. Still two circlings, very annoying. Push out there. Uh, you're 2-2. You're two, two. Yes, as you said, you're not constantly producing stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so you didn't have the Ebus in the in the control group. Your two two could be on the way already, and you need right. it. Uh, this drop is a little bit I don't know because now your forces are split, but still in one place. So it would have been better to just drop his main base and kill the Ultralis Cavern, for example. Uh -huh. So dropping on top of that was not the smartest move it le because it, what it made was made your tank more vulnerable and then you just mm -hmm. lost everything even though you did right. look look at the worker count you did you dealt awesome damage 30 drones against 43 mm -hmm. basically you should never lose this game right uh, but still uh, production facilities look at yes. your look at your barracks there are four marauder in <laughs> this, this right. is like one command center idle yeah. Yeah, so I think the transition is the thing you need to work on the most. Mm -hmm. How, however, your macro seems really solid, basically. <laughs> um, and then just falls apart. <laughs> yeah, if if you get the transition done and you have the production facilities, I'm sure you will you will have really good macro if you mm -hmm. focus on it a little bit more as well. Mm, so okay. if you get, if you get the transition done, if you work on your transition. And then a little bit more focus on your macro instead of all the shenanigans mm -hmm. out of the map. So set right. priorities. Normally now okay. you should be on 200, 200, even though you did trade. You right. can hit yep. this. With 2-2 yeah. done, I would say, bam, this mm -hmm. guy would have had no chance at all. Right. So maybe, maybe even if it's boring, go into custom games, go try to hit the timings five times in a row just to okay. get used to it. And also with the control groups. And then right. go into ladder and see how it's going for you. Okay. That's what I would recommend. For today, for for example, what I did today as well. Uh, soon the MMR patch is coming. You know, with the split right. MMR. 
and I did set up my my uh, Zerg hotkeys. And what I mm -hmm. uh, what I did then was I was half a, half an hour in a custom game against nobody, just macroing, seeing how can I creep spread the best, how can I manage the queens and the injects, and it did help me a lot. I then went into 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 uh, into a ladder game, not a ladder, unranked game against the tier one master Terran. First third game, like I played for like three months. And I won against three Rex Reaper. That I was see. that was really awesome. So your drop was really nice, dealt a lot of damage. But yeah, as you said, macro. I mean right. this is macro and then transition. Basically, you saw the ultra list, so you wanna throw down at at latest then. It would be better to to have it done already, but you need the mm -hmm. Ghost Academy and you need right. Liberator. Like Liberator with range upgrade. I Unless, have a question about yes, uh, yes. ghosts in general. Uh, because whenever I do use ghosts versus ultralisks, mm -hmm. I find that I just simply don't have enough energy for the snipes. Okay. Uh, is that just me not having set up uh, properly in time? I think so. Normally, okay. um, you can buy time. If ultralisks are out, you can buy yourself time with multi drops. Like you do here. This is. Lots of time, but you need to right. work on your on your transition and get everything done. Normally, you should have enough energy right. uh, for EMPs and snipes. The real problem with uh, yeah, oh god, those circles, so annoying. The real problem with the ghost is that the ghost normally doesn't wanna fight. Mm -hmm. Like the ghost is the sniper. It's super cost efficient if you if the if the snipes get through. So what you need to do is set some some kind of buffer zone for them like turrets uh, bio it doesn't matter but they they need to so using ghost is difficult it's, it's really difficult you need to scan constantly the Zerg army in order to be able to snipe mm -hmm. mm, and also it's difficult to just push out you you know maybe the situation if you are late game TVC and you you are on your fourth base with turrets and liberator and bio and maybe some widow mines and ghosts and you feel safe and the sir can't engage you like unless he has broodlords no way and what okay. most uh, well, most Terrans do then is okay now I maxed out I move out and mm -hmm. what they miss then are all those turrets I see for for example if you are here out on the map. How on earth are you gonna supposed to split, kite, stim, snipe, set up liberation zones, kite back, burrow widow mines, mm -hmm. and, and all that at the same time if the Zerg comes from here, 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 and here? Mm -hmm. Okay. So unless you have a lot of turrets, those those buffer against Corruptor, they buffer against Banelings, they are awesome against Ultralist because they derp around like mm -hmm. quite a bit. And normally late game TVT, uh, TVC, you should have the bank to do this. Um, right, okay. I don't know if I would recommend using ghosts. At some point you will need them, but mm -hmm. for now I think a uh, 3 factory mass widow mine is not only better for you to use, it's also way more fun. Okay. So... Okay, you're taking additional bases. This is nice. Scanning quite a bit. There are the circlings. With quite good upgrades, to be honest. Yeah, those those counter attacks are really annoying. So this a, a bunker would have been really nice. Mm -hmm. And did you lose all your medivacs? Oh, you lost six medivacs so far. Okay, that's that's also. Never, 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 ever lose your medivax. Never, okay. not in TVT. Not unless this, those, those medivacs. Like if you do a drop, uh, unless those eight marines deal, like, like kill all the addons from your opponent or 16 to 20 worker. Unless uh -huh. that's not happening, just pull back. Don't lose the medivax. Okay. Those six medivacs, The problem is, every medivac you lose. You need to remake. So in this okay. situation, you could have had like six medivacs and mm -hmm. those liberator. Right. Okay. 
So every time you lose a medivac, this means when you push out or you get attacked, you will have one liberator less. Okay. Because you need to remake the uh, medivac, which is right. Mm, you get the point. Yes. Awesome. Still, you did trade really good here. You, you, you. I don't know what's what's exactly happening here. Yeah, ah, those overstims, they hurt you quite a lot. But still, you deal quite good damage. You can take out the space. You are only seven drones behind. Your army supply is looking good. He's on one base, almost two base economy only. Against your... Uh, okay, your economy also. Not the best currently. Oh yeah, now they are the Corruptor. You can also with the Ghost snipe the Corruptor. You won't kill right. them immediately, but it's very unlikely that he transfuses all of them. And even mm -hmm. if he does, that means he can't transfuse the Ultralisk, which is also really good. So, either there, there are two ways if you want to play Ghost. Um, the Ghost can snipe the Corruptor to protect the Liberator, uh -huh. or, or they can snipe the Ultralisk so the Bio can kill the Corruptor. I see. So that's basically the trade-off. Whatever you do, just be consistent with it and try to find a good opening. So don't don't waste your snipes. I don't know how you how okay. you use snipe. Do you use rapid fire or shift click or I don't have any uh, hotkey set up with it. I used to have rapid fire set up with the uh, mouse wheel, but I haven't gotten around to it yet to okay. set it up since I uh, got a new computer. Okay. Yeah, mouse wheel. I never use rapid fire with a mouse wheel. Uh, I just have rapid fire as Terran on R for snipe, refinery, okay. um, seeker missile, uh, reaper grenades, I guess, but I'm not quite sure. Mm -hmm. uh, all those things. And then you just can whoops, with your mouse, press okay. the hotkey, hold it down, and instant snipe, basically. Okay. It helps, but I, I don't think you really need that now. I really think you need to work on your on your production uh, and your macro. Like, like as, as I said, this is a perfect example of base layout and control groups, this game. Mm -hmm. Right. If it was more organized, then I probably would have clued in on the fact I was so woefully behind in my production. Mm -hmm. Yes, so with the, the, those, those small things, like the transition was a little bit, mm -hmm. was quite off, to be honest. Uh, the supply right. depot not on the edges to spot the overload drops, which dealt a lot of damage. And yeah, the, the upgrades were okay, I have to say. And although they weren't in the control group, they were okay. Mm -hmm. mm, but yeah, with the SCVs, the mules, I think it, it helps if you if you really try to focus on just improving your macro. Right. And as I said, those those small windows in between fights or in between mm -hmm. actions, basically. If you if you for, if there are no speed links, let's say you are playing a TVP, uh -huh. and you pull back your army. Let's right. let's see your let's say your opponent is uh, Protoss, and uh -huh. his army is there, and your army is here, and you see, okay. oh my goodness, he has like 20 billion adepts and force fields, and oh my god, I can't fight this. Right. What you then do is just click back. Mm -hmm. And what many guys do then is they have their eyes on their army. They are like, oh my god, this army is not supposed to die. Help, help, help. But okay. they don't realize I'm retreating. I don't need to look at this army now unless I get flanked by a disruptor or storm. But normally that's right. not the case. So in this time you can go back, throw down additional barracks, macro up, right, get supply right. depots. And then back to the army, load up, fly away. Okay. Are you using the idle worker trick for supply depots? Uh, not for depots, no. Uh, okay, for what then? If not for depots, <laughs> just sending, for sending them back to work. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Um, so basically, what the idle worker trick does for you is help you never ever get supply capped again. Okay. Yeah, uh, if if it works. So. Okay. So basically, just only use trick. the idle workers for the depot makers, and then that way. Yes. When so, they're done making um, a depot. Okay. What you have to do to make it work is. All the SCVs who build eBay's armory, barracks, and all those production uh -huh. facilities, you have to shift queue them back to the mineral line. Mm -hmm. And those who okay. build the supply depot, like one on one base, two on two base, right. those you, you let on idle, and as soon as the idle worker button pops up, ah, 
supply depots, bam, bam. Right, and you okay. will have constant supply depot production and almost never be ever supply cap. So okay. with that trick, your supply cap, even on a 20-minute game, should be on best, depending if it's not a base trade, of course. Um, until 10 minutes, it would be good to be less than 20 seconds supply cap. That's really good if you hit that. Okay. And for 20 minutes, I would say a minute is okay. If okay. you hit this in most of your games, with your production facilities and good macro, you will skyrocket out of your current league like to the next level immediately, okay. just with macro. Right. This guy, just just imagine your your army would have been twice or, or three times as big. You would have yep. had no chance. Stim to win, right. A move, GG. No, nothing right. needed. Nothing. Right. Okay. Should we watch another TVC? Um, I think uh, with the remaining time, I'd like to switch over to, I guess, one of the TVP games. Okay. Because uh, the concepts are sort of mm -hmm. more what I'm looking for. I really like that you want to get the most out of your time. It's awesome. <laughs> no, I really well, like that. I'm already uh, kind of resigned to the fact that uh, I don't put in enough hours to... Uh, comfortably get to something like masters mm -hmm. but i still want to get better sure i'm generally only playing about uh maybe four or five games a week <laughs> so mm, yeah really that's a not, bit that, that's not yeah. too much but it, it yep. can work it can work. i was told by the muslim ones i asked him in chat mm -hmm. how how long should i play each day to get GM, and he was like, "Yeah, two hours is okay." And I was like, right, "No, yeah. no, no chance." I play more than two hours a, a, a day uh, at that time, and nope, <laughs> no chance. Maybe my focus was wrong. I mean, you you have to play 110 percent focus. You, you, if you're sick, don't play. If you're hungry, don't play. Basically, StarCraft 2 is work. It's not a yep, it's not yep. a game. It's like a real sport. If you I are played, off, uh, classical music. I played cello for uh, over 15 years, so uh, wow. <laughs> I find the uh, the parallels very similar. Mm -hmm. Ah, you play gas first. Why is that? Uh, this build order is my standard uh, TVP build order. It's a bit outdated, but it's the only one I really know. Okay. I'm doing okay. Widow Mind Drop uh, into okay. Liberator Harass. Okay, let's see, because. What I do is I play just the 60 marine drop against Protoss as well. Okay. That's initially where it was first uh, played before it switched over to uh, Zerg. Okay. I believe got... these replays are also back when I was playing with the mouse acceleration on, which mm -hmm. was okay. giving me huge mouse accuracy problems. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, so you go in. Oh, he misses the PO. No, he gets it. I still lose it. <laughs> this is yeah. so annoying. Normally, photon overcharge, in my opinion, should only deal 29 damage instead of 30. So the Reaper would need three shots to get killed, but no. David Kim hates us, Terrence, so it's not the case. Okay, so... But, um, yeah, TV, uh, TVZ, I feel like I understand the matchup. Mm -hmm. I just have problems with that execution. Yeah. TVP and TVT, I don't feel as comfortable understanding the matchup, at least when the onus is on me to mm -hmm. be the aggressor or be the defender. Yeah. So, what you want to do is uh, scout for his third base. Mm-hmm. Uh, one gate. Uh, it is three gate, then five zero. So if it if the base if his third base is not gonna throw down at the four minute mark, and okay. he's on one gate, then that means uh oh something is up. If he's on three gates, then the nexus should be done at five uh, th being thrown down at five minutes. And then you, that, that's the biggest indicator if something is coming or not. Even if you don't know what's coming, in Legacy of the Void now, normally you have enough units to defend if you stay defensively. Even okay. if you don't know what's coming exactly. Okay. Uh, especially if you play the 2-1-1. With, right. the, with the 1-1-1 one, 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 it's a bit more difficult, so your, your scouting needs to be more crisp. Okay. Uh, as you are lacking one, one production. Mm -hmm. Like the one barracks, right? 
and against Blink this can be difficult. Widow mines are good against Blink, tanks normally I think are a little bit better. Okay. So, yeah, but you definitely want to scout when is his third base gonna be thrown down. Okay. That's oh, awesome, Widow mine. Love it. Okay, you go for one Widow mine, no marines. Okay. Just imagine six marines with this medivac as well. <laughs> like, like, look at this. He has a stalker now and a mothership core and a pilot out of position. This nexus would be toast. Okay. Uh, he has two gates. Okay, so maybe not toast, but you would be able to deal a lot of damage, even even if you don't kill a lot of drones uh, probes right. here. Uh, lost mining time. He needs to warp in more units, so his base is late. And I would say two base against two base is favoring Terran. Okay. Uh, normally Protoss is on one robo and three gates against your three factory, uh, three barracks, one factory, one starport. Mm -hmm. So you are, he's using four production facilities against your five. Mm -hmm. And you have Liberator and tanks, and they are so super good. Like, if you have okay. six Liberator and he doesn't have any anti-air, like Blink Stalker, even if right. it's difficult for him. So if his third base is later, then as long as you don't die to any attacks or take a bad engagement, you're in a really good spot. Okay. So here comes the Widow Mine. Oh, that's... okay. Ah, sad. Yeah, I, I think it would have been better to just let the Widow Mine kill at least one probe and save it then. Okay. That's what I do. Go in, Widow Mine Bureau, gets a kill, and rescue ASAP. The Widow okay. Mine is so good against Protoss, you don't wanna... Mm -hmm. Basically, basically, if you drop, if you attack as, as a Terran, you don't mm -hmm. wanna ever lose units unless you take a, bit, a big engagement. Mm -hmm. Or you know you can win. So if you okay. if you have those 13 marines with them against those four stalker, then mm -hmm. you're fine to attack those and try to trade. But unless that's the case, like t don't don't you don't try to not lose units. That that's what, okay. what the biggest thing here is, especially early on. Uh, in in TVC it's the same with the 16 marine medivac drop. Nowadays you won't deal much damage. Um, but it's okay to kill a creep tumor and and kill six circlings. Okay. It's enough. Your even probe count, uh, SCV count, it's fine. So you don't definitely need to deal damage. It's more like testing out the water. Can I deal damage? Yes, no. Mm -hmm. If no, then he's prepared, which Let's means see. he had to skip something else like tech or probes or anything like okay. that, and you're fine. So the liberator is in a okay spot here. Uh, yeah, macro, definitely macro. You could produce Marauder right. and such. Let's just see how how long your production is idle. Oh my goodness! You see how far I'm going back? Yeah. Okay. So now here's the tech lab. Yeah. Six minutes. Six fifteen. Six twenty. Thirty. F Forty. Mm -hmm. Okay, almost 50 seconds, no right. production at all. Mm -hmm. um, what what you could have done instead, I know you have to micro and, and panic and oh my god Protoss. Um, right. You saw him moving out with the, with the liberator. liberator that got caught. Yep. Yes, so bunker immediately. If you are not okay. sure, just do it. It buys you so much time and you don't have to okay. micro too much against it. And normally have the Reaper, if it survives, or an SAV out there, or a Marine, or a Widow Mine, something. You need to know when is the aggression gonna be over. If he throws down a Nexus, still he has the units out there, but he is missing one complete warp in cycle, which makes right. its push so much worse if you produce constantly. If you would have okay. produced constantly here, like Marauder mm -hmm. would have been out, uh, where's the concussive shells? Mm -hmm. Not being researched now. I would also against Blink Stalker. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's up to you. Uh, maybe you can concussive shells first before uh, combat shields. Okay. Mm, depends a little bit on your Marauder count and your Marauder micro. If you lose the Marauder to Blink because of your P medivac pickup micro isn't that good mm -hmm. or his Blink focus fire is good, then combat shields are better. 
better go for combo shields, I would say now. But I okay. just wanted to let you know there are different styles what you can do. But in this case, yeah, 50 seconds not producing are like two. In this case, four Marauder, six Marines, a Liberator, and a tank, which you are missing right now. Right. And Stim is a bit late uh, because of your opening. This Widow Mine is so MVP. Yeah, he dealt a lot of damage here. What what are the plans? You said you have no real game plan, or or, or <laughs> however in, in TVP. So what 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 are the questions you have basically? I mean, I can I can always point out macro 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 macro, right. but that's not really all about here, you know. Um. Basically, the way I've been playing TVP is uh, we don't mind drop into lip harass into mm -hmm. uh, some sort of three base uh, uh, two or three base bio push uh, depending on upgrade timings. Okay. And try and uh, attack before there's a disruptor count or um, Templar mm -hmm. tech or okay. anything like that comes out. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really have a late game plan other than try to harass him to death and. Where I find myself strategically coming into problem is when I'm being harassed to death mm -hmm. and being unable to, I guess, deal with that while coming out with enough, uh, okay. I guess, leftover to just survive. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. So the the thing in TVP nowadays, as I see it, is um, both player Protoss and Terran can harass really well. As Terran, it's just a little bit more difficult, I would say, because of warp in, photon overcharge, and observer spotting so much. Okay. Um, especially on two base, Protoss is quite unkillable, Harris wise, in my okay. opinion. Right. On three base, that's, that's mm, not the case anymore. If you uh -huh. snipe observer, for example, or if he doesn't see it, if he hasn't split them, like one observer is a pawn of his nexus, the other one is a pawn of his nexus, he won't mm -hmm. see any drops. He doesn't have a okay. pilot now at the third base because you sniped it. So you, there, there are right. openings where you okay. could hit. You can dance around the pilots as well. Mm -hmm. Like this pilot would be an awesome target. And then the forge okay. or the robotics right. bay. Awesome damage. Okay. Mm, but un un unless that, I would say nowadays the plan for Terran is you go two base uh, you, you harass a little bit, like with the Vitamine Drop and the Liberator, but those are not for dealing damage normally. They right. are for spotting and scouting. What does okay. he have? And what you normally aim for is a big push, like uh, pressure is third base with Tank Evax, Vitamines, Liberator, Bio, something like that. If you, it, okay. it depends then. And then you see, you are testing again. Is he killable or not? Depending on your macro, if he has a good army and you have a good army as well, then you're not really supposed to do massive damage. He's the defender, I he see. has sentries, okay. so don't push it too far. Better back off and split your army, do a multi-drop. What you can do is, if you are pressuring his, his third base, uh, like you do now, just with better macro of course, right. um, don't commit, D don't really commit. What you need to do is then uh, stim in, Get a kill on maybe an immortal would be nice, or maybe even two okay. stalker. As long as you don't lose too much, always I go see. in just small skirmishes and see is he warping in more. You need to find then the timing when to retreat. Otherwise, he will just have double the amount of your army and crush your push, and okay. then you are behind. So you right. can either then reinforce your push constantly, and then you have this push versus defender advantage thing uh, fight, where you either depending on your macro and micro win or lose. Or you don't um, reinforce your army at the front, but mm -hmm. do those small skirmishes, see if you can find damage, see the window when you have to retreat, and back at home, macro up, and go for multi-drops to make okay. him force either warp in somewhere else, split his army, make mistakes, pull attention, something like that. So those are the, the, the two things in the mid-game I would say you have. Open okay. and late game then is identify his splash source and counter it goes against okay. high templar liberator against disruptor 
And Liberator can work against Colossus, but Vikings are most of the time better. Right. Okay. And then it's up to macro and micro, basically. Okay. And yeah, always vision, vision, right. vision, okay. vision, vision. Like, have marines everywhere. You want to okay. always have vision on his potential next phase, the watchtowers, and the most regular path when he pushes out. Okay. Okay, so let me see, yes, nice, are there any questions left you want to ask now before we close the session in a few minutes? Uh, what would you say would be the best way to, um, the what I should be, I guess, uh, what would you recommend my goal be for my next several ladder games, I guess? Like, mm. what should I be focusing on? Definitely macro, I okay. would say. I wouldn't recommend going into ladder right now. I would really recommend uh, maybe read through the notes I would give you and the notes okay. you made yourself maybe as well. Yes. Try going a custom day, a game. There is. Do you know the salt mod? Yes. Awesome. Use it. It's really good. And, and try to save uh, at benchmarks, maybe after you, you, your natural is done so you don't have to remake the whole process uh, all the time. That's okay. so annoying. And then yeah. just to hit 100 to 110 supply with hitting the upgrade timings on 7 minutes, okay. being maxed out between 9 and 10 minutes. 9.30 okay. would be good. And do this 3 or 4 times and then go into ladder and try to focus on that as well. Uh, while you do all the regular stuff like microing, reaper, scouting, hada, 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 okay. and see how it goes. Watch the replay and see, ah, there I did a mistake. Do I need to okay. watch all my control groups or where, where, where did my focus go? That's the thing. Uh, don't only uh, watch your replay, but see from your first person perspective in the replay. Where did I watch at this time? What did okay. I do? Reflect what you did and then think about what I can do better next time. And you should really see okay. how it's going better and better for you. Okay, great. Uh, thank you so much. I really hope it does help you. <laughs> it does. All of it helps. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Good. Um, so, yeah, if you need any more coaching, you are free to book more sessions. I will have this week time, and then I will mm -hmm. see. Then I will raise up to 10 bucks again because... Then I have time for <laughs> university, and then then my time is a bit more uh, I see. precious, I would say. But either way, I wish you best of luck on right, ladder. Great. Have a uh, good one. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. And I guess it's night over there, so uh, good night. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. All right. Take care. Hey, oh there! Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions, put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye bye.